What's up guys, welcome back to another channel update. Now this is a channel update that's actually not happening after a big hiatus, which is good. That's really good. That's a sign of improvement. I haven't had like a big, like a week long or even maybe more than a week long hiatus where I just don't upload at all. I haven't had that for a while. Well, I guess you call it a while. I haven't had it since like October 13th. That was, uh, yeah, between September 29th and October 13th, that was my last big hiatus. After that, it's pretty much been uploading at least a couple times a week, which is good. That's definitely better than I have been doing in the past, where I just take weeks or months off, because I just really didn't have any desire to get into YouTube again. But now I could definitely say I do, and that is a huge part, basically, like, entirely thanks to Paladins, because Paladins, you know, Paladins was a game, I said it before, it was a game I never really thought I'd get into, I really had no intention of trying it, and one day I just, I saw Ying from Paladins, like, this character looks really cool, I really like what she does, I want to try her out, let me download the game, it's free to play, so why not, how bad could it be, and it actually turned out to be really fun, and before I started playing the game, I was watching streams, and like, in almost every stream that I went to watch, I uh, I would see people saying if if you like Overwatch and you start playing this game, you will like this game better than Overwatch. And they were right. They were right. At least for me, they were right. I definitely am enjoying this game a lot more than Overwatch. But yeah, so thanks to the Paladins, I can say that I am definitely getting back into YouTube slowly, but it's happening and it's definitely a sign of improvement. So that's good. Now, I do want to talk about like the direction the channel is moving forward in this update, so let's go ahead and talk about that. Obviously, Paladin is going to be a big thing. It's probably going to be the main game, or most definitely going to be the main game that I do on my channel. I'm definitely going to try to build up my channel with Paladins, with its beta, moving into its release whenever that happens, yada yada. It's beta onto the consoles and stuff, which is happening, I believe, relatively soon. I don't know if the signups for that are over or not, but hopefully you did it. Hopefully you did it. If not, go check, see if you can, because it's definitely something you want to get in on. But yeah, really, really enjoying Paladins, and it's definitely going to be the main focus. At least until, I'd say probably at least until Borderlands 3 comes out. I think that is the next time where there's going to be a title that I feel like I'm going to enjoy enough to make it the main focus of my channel. There's also Mass Effect Andromeda, but the thing about that is I'd probably only make like multiplayer videos, like the co-op multiplayer, like guides like that for the characters and whatnot. That's probably what I do for the game, and it's not really, I don't really feel like it's going to be enough to base my channel around, so Paladins is probably going to be the, the number one thing on this channel until Borderlands 3 comes out. Now there are, there is like other stuff, of course, that I have gone and I've wanted to like put into my channel and whatnot, and I've tried to, but you can see, you know, past attempts haven't really gotten back into YouTube too much with those games. Now, those games are Battleborn, Destiny, and Overwatch. I have made videos on all of those games. Battleborn, I really felt like, was going to be that game that breaks me right back into YouTube, even going as far as to say, like, uploading every day and whatnot, but... Battleborn's glory time lasted like three weeks, and I was in New York for two of them, unfortunately. So, yeah, unfortunately, because the game got compared to Overwatch a lot, and it released, like, in the same month as Overwatch, the game was, like, basically dead from the start. It was on death row the second it released, and it's really unfortunate, because the game is nothing like Overwatch besides the fact that it has heroes like Overwatch has. That's basically where the similarities end. It's a really, really great game that stands out on its own, and they've really put a lot of work into it, more than I really ever thought I could expect from Gearbox. It definitely showed some really good promise for Borderlands 3, and how they'd be, uh, and hopefully how they're going to update it more often as well. But yeah, unfortunately, Battleborn, it just sort of fell, and at this point, it's like, I did play it for a while, but... And I still want to play it. I still really love the game. It's really great, and there's still new content coming out for it and stuff like that. But unfortunately, the queue times have just gotten to the point where it's just too long, even on console, for me to really stick with the game. Like, no matter how good the game is, why would I play a game where I have to wait like 15 minutes for a match when I could play any of these other games where I get mad basically instantaneously? 
It's, it's just really sad. Like, I did want to make that Kid Aldra impressions video. I said I was going to make that, but unfortunately, I only got to play Kid Aldra in a story app. That's it. I didn't get to play him in a PvP game. I, I tried multiple times. Uh, I, I think I got into two games over the course of, like, an hour, and somebody picked Kid Aldra before me both of those times. And I was like, oh, my God, I don't want to... This is a waste of time. I'm wasting all my time on this one video that is going to be, like... Just, it's just gonna be one video, so it's like, ah. So I, I ended up never actually doing that, and I still haven't played Kid Ultra to this day in a PvP match, and I haven't played Battleborn since, so that's unfortunate, but I don't know. Unless they really do something, like, big to really bring up the player base, like maybe free-to-play or something, they have shot down all the rumors about free-to-play, unfortunately, but unless they do something like that, I don't really think I'm going to be pumping out a lot of Battleborn videos. There probably will still be some, but... Just not too many at all, unfortunately. It's just, you know, the state of the game. It's just not good for anything when I have all these other options. So, yeah. Very unfortunate, but yeah. As for Destiny, now Destiny is a game where I'm on and off very frequently. Very on and off it, ever frequently. It, it depends on what they do, because Bungie is a very, very smart and very dumb developer. Especially their Crucible team, probably the most idiotic group of people I have ever seen in game development. Honestly, I I don't even feel bad for saying that. But, yeah, some, for the most part, I've been really off the game. Then the Rise of Iron came out, you know, I played the crap out of that, and then I was kind of off it again. But then, you know, they brought in Iron Banner, brought in the Clever Dragon, and finally there was a primary that people can't just run away from. And that actually promotes primary gunfights, which is something I haven't had since the start of Taken King. And it's a really good feeling, and I'm really loving it. Even if it's only one gun, I'm really loving it. And I hope the direction they go with this is they buff all the primaries up to that level, making the game really fun again. But what they probably will do is nerf that one primary, and nerf everything else in the game. Again, and again, and again. And I won't play it. So... Destiny is always on like this this weird thing where I'm on and off it depending on what they do, more so off it than on it, unfortunately. So I'm not saying don't expect any videos about Destiny. There will be some, but not a whole lot depending on what they do, because it's just it's not really safe for me to base my channel around, like my channel around something that is constantly knocking me off and sucking me back in. It's just it's not good. It's not healthy. For the channel and whatnot. So yeah. Then there's Overwatch. Overwatch is in a similar situation to Destiny, except not nearly as like bad because Overwatch they have good developers. They have a really, really good game, really fun, really solid. Some of their balance decisions are kinda dumb too, but just not on the, the level of Bundle or anything like that. And they get out content really, really slow for a studio of like Blizzard's caliber. But the game is still really, really fun. I really enjoy it. And, like, D.Va in Overwatch is, like, one of my favorite, like, video game characters of, like, all time. So that always brings me back. But basically, what I mean is when I say that it's sort of like Destiny in a sense where I'm on and off it. Because I'll, I'll come in when they add something or when something's going on. And then I'll play so much of it. Like, that Halloween event, I, I got on that whole month played so much it burned me out. I had so much fun in that span of time that it's really, really hard to have fun with it right now. I don't even play it right now. When Somber comes out and like all the new modes come out and that map and whatnot, I'll probably play it a ton again and then get burned out and then come back for like the Christmas event or whatever if that happens, whatnot. But again, it's not healthy to base my channel around something that I'm constantly on and off. It's just not going to work. And there's another reason. The Overwatch YouTube community is very oversaturated with it being such a big game, so there's that too. But, you know, it's mainly the on and off thing. I don't really care about how many, uh, how many, like, fish are in the pond or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so that's, that's my stance on those three games on the channel. So to sum that all up, expect some videos here and there about these games. Don't expect a whole lot, though. Mainly, this is going to be all Paladins again until Borderlands 3. If you're okay with that, great. If you're not, sorry. But I'm definitely going to be making the channel focused on Paladins. I'm going to build the channel up with Paladins for the foreseeable future. So, yeah.
If you want to stay subscribed to Borderlands 3, go ahead. I will most definitely not let you down on that. Cannot wait. I know it's going to be great, and I haven't even seen anything on it. None of us have. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think I talked about everything I wanted to talk about, and I don't want to ramble on again. I don't want to make this any longer than it already is, so I think that's a good enough place to stop. Thank you all for waddling. No, wait, no. I want to thank you all for waddling. I very much appreciate it, and I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.